a question that I have for you. People listening might have leader of a team or a business that they're like, man, I understand the power of belief, but we're in a tough spot. Mm -hmm. You know, we're on a negative spiral or maybe we're up against an opponent and we're not picked to win. Odds are against us right now. Belief is low. When you found yourself in that spot in the past, maybe against an opponent that on paper was more talented, the odds were saying they should beat you. How did you transfer that belief to your team? It's, it's a great question. And I don't think there's like a magic potion. Like if you just do this one thing, it's going to work. But one thing that we really uh, focused on was our culture, right? And we talked a lot of that connected teams are powerful teams. And I think great teams are always greater than the sum of our parts. So a lot of times it's easy to look at all the reasons why you cannot be effective or why you can't win or they have better players or whatever their excuses might be that you can get drawn to. But one thing we always focus on was our team and how our team, if we stuck together, we were always greater than the sum of our parts. We also always focused on our process. And we got our players to believe, and rightfully so, that the way we trained was a separator. So maybe what we saw on the outside, we were maybe intimidated by because they had these players or, or this type of advantage, but we always came back to our training. And I would also say a lot of times it's not always what you say, but it's how you say it. When you speak with conviction, it is amazing how that can transfer belief. If they believe in you as a leader, they will believe in what you have to say. So a lot of times that we get caught up on what, we, what we're going to say, but to me, it's just as powerful on how we say it. I love that. And it's crucial for anybody that's listening because belief is what's the likelihood that the thing we're talking about is going to happen. Mm. And if you can look at your past and you have a stack of undeniable proof that you do hard things, that we've trained harder and better, our process is stronger, and we ha truly have that connected team, it's hard not to get belief. And so as a wrap, what we would want to close down with is this. The power of belief is crucial as we build strong teams, but it starts with you as the leader. Can you first lead yourself to cultivate that belief so when people are around you, they feel it? And then can you help inspire that belief in others so that they can go out and be their best? Got a little, you got a little.